glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt heads. The Big Ten about to kick off. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. seven-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. about four yards away here two on two third down. down. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Ready. Ready. Two 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 Makes it to the 47. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. down 10 to go ball on the 43 Johnson gets the carry he gets out to about the 42 yard line and he gets a yard on the run I'm telling you every yard you gain is earned and those were about as tough as they come Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 42. Three down, three down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
Gay's a guy we've seen, Kirk, when he plays on the road, he's almost like uh, he wants to quiet the crowd and say, you know what, bring it, and I'll bring it right back to you. Yeah, I think one of the things you have to do as a quarterback when you go on the road and you get in this kind of tough environment is, is get off to a fast start. And he told us this week one of the big things that he's trying to emphasize to his team is that it's not just to go out and win on the road. Let's take the crowd out of the game early by making some big plays, and then let's just go out and play our game. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he dives oh. forward. Oh, nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere, baby. Nowhere. Let's go. Way to go, D. Way to go, D. Takes a hand on. Tackled for a loss. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Hicks is the putter. Looking for the corner, and down he goes at the 36. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick throw, incomplete, water his receiver. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. That was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He's to the 40. And they push him out at the 45-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Nice run there. That'll bring up second and three. Receiver screen and it's dropped incomplete. That makes it third, and third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Northwestern's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Get 
gets to about the 27-yard line. You've got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Gets to about the 27-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the ball. Fourth down. Freeman takes it to 36, and he's tackled at the 45. So at the end of one, no score here. here in the second quarter it's been a good one and a tight one at this point they've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now takes it up the middle for a nice run that's good for a game of five yards that brings him second and five Midfield. It's third down. Grabs it and hammered right there. Brown back to return it. job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Up the middle for a nice game. Johnson gets six yards on the play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Slings it. And he's tackled around the 14-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. Right, 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 right. Down, down. Hey, check my Here we go. Again with the run. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a four-yard gain there for the tailback. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. He's in trouble, and he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, second down. 
gains his way to the 33-yard line. seven-yard line. First down. He has some room. Gets out to around the 45. Minnesota is going to use their first time out of the half here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here we go. Looking for his man, incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And a quick throw. Drop down around the 19-yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a good four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Play 13 of the current drive. And they make the stop right around the eight-yard line. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here's the halfback. Runs right for a nice game. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Here we go. Right, 80. Right, 80. On the pass, touchdown. the PAT. A long 16-play, 100-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the six, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Decides to slide. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He gets sacked on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Do 
He chucks it downfield. Oh, so close to breaking it. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Illegal touching. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle around the 11 yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Scrambling around. Good open field tackle. So at the end of the half, Minnesota leads it 7 0. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Fielded at the four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Golden Gophers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That makes it seven and six. Got it to his man on the screen. And he's taken down at the 32. That'll bring up third and six. Wants to throw outside. Was the intended target. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Hicks is waiting for the snap. Brown takes it at the 33. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Minnesota is up a score. He's under pressure. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39.
And bring him down at the 39. From the 39-yard line, first down. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Minnesota is up by a touchdown. Ready, green nine. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. There's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. That makes it fourth and long. Bridges awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's out to the 30. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. it to the 47. That makes it first and 10. seven-yard line. First down, Graham. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. First down. Taken down right around the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. Gain. 
gains his way to the 16-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. He scrambles. The 10. Touchdown, Northwestern. What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Guns up, Texas Tech doing battle in Lubbock. And for Texas Tech, blowing their way into the end zone on the ground. And for Benjamin, he simply cannot be stopped. He has destroyed this defense for double-figure touchdown receptions. Best way to describe this kid, the truth. Texas Tech leads it 14-10. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Miller has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven, tackle made at the 23-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Makes it to the 31. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. So at the end of the third quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. 
You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. And they lose a couple there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. comes through. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at the 37. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Right, 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 right. Two down, two down. Right to the one, right to the one. Check, 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 check. Gets it out to the wide alley. He's got the first. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Taking back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. He airs it out. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. They're stacked in the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you gotta love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. It's the tailback. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Got it. Tight ends got the first. Walk down at around the 50. Just under two minutes in the game. Open field, brought down in the open field. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First and ten. 
Ball on the 35 yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle right around the 34. to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. He's still moving. We're going to overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. First down. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Wildcats. the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. The Hokies relentless with their rushing attack and they score a touchdown. All locked up. 17 apiece. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. From the 25-yard line. First down. tracks. Williams gains four yards on that reception. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 21. It's got it. He's tackled at about the 17 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Green nine, green nine. Blue four. Blue four. The 10. They'll bring him down. The 
six. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Second down and 10 to go. 10 yards to the end zone. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives him some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he converts the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and ten. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed, and if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. This one's going deep to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. So with a first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. And they're looking to get two points here. Northwestern with a six-point lead. He scrambled. They don't get it. <laughs> 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 
from the 25 yard line. First down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Four down, four down. Check 82, watch 82. Gets him open field. What a play, and that is first and goal. may finally be it. They're only a couple yards away from victory, but we saw how difficult it was for the other team to get it in from there. They'll go for two in this situation. He's going to try and scramble. They got it. Game over. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. Minnesota, 29. Northwestern, 27. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.